But let's check in on our international borders and imports and exports coming through our ports. There's a go slow on by the Maritime Union of Australia and the Prime Minister has said this is all about extortion with a wage rise in play. Let's go to the Maritime Union of Australia National Secretary Paddy Crumlin. Thanks for joining us, uh, Paddy. Um, you're after a 6% pay rise each year for the next four years. Isn't that uh, extortionate in the current situation? We, we offered them a 2.5%. Uh, percent. How are you going, Chris, by the way? We offered them a 2.5% and a rollover for 12 months to get over to COVID, and they rejected it. That's at the start of COVID, mate. And then they came back the next day with 30 pages removing conditions of employment, rosters, family-friendly rosters, uh, eliminating call-out times. This is a workforce that works seven days a week through rotating shifts and put that on the paper. And, of course, they got a response. That's how negotiations happen. Didn't we if they sure talk, we, we offered we... a 2.5% for 12 they've beaten this story up, mate. They make Donald Trump look like Mother Teresa when it comes to the truth. Fair income, Chris. Well, but didn't we sort all this out about 25 years ago with the the great yeah. maritime strike and get things on an even Absolutely why, we did. Why would and it I, have to come to this? Why would you be able to have a go slow and slow the import of what mate, the government says there's a lot of very important medical appliances and drugs and the like? Chris, you're buying into their fake news, mate. Let's I've get, been the National claim. Secretary for the last 22 years and I'm proud of the fact we got the most productive waterfront in the world, mate. Yes, I'm so a what? part of that. These blokes have turned up two or three years ago. They're gouging out and they're using COVID to go and put their fake news out to get a bit of leverage in the negotiations. That's what's happening, Chris. But, but aren't you on a go They're slow? They're a disgrace, You've mate. You've had overtime bans and some stop work. You're on the go slow to advance your negotiations. No, we're not on a go slow, mate. We're going flat out. We're working harder than a copper at a mongoose convention down there, mate. We've had four hours. Four hours. That's nothing. You know what? They saw through an electrical cable the other day and shut the joint down for 48 hours. They reckon there's 40 ships off Sydney. Go and have a look if you live at Maroubra. There's two ships out there. There's always two ships. Now it's 40 ships around Australia. Now it's 40 ships in the Southern Hemisphere. Mate, this is the biggest beat-up, Chris, and you're coming into it, mate. Honestly. Well, I've been told for a long while that uh, there's been a backlog of ships and there's, certainly that stuff can be verified. You say that you're in dispute over this wage claim, but now you're trying to tell us that you're not doing anything to slow down the productivity on the wharfs as part of that dispute. No, we're not, mate. We're, we're, we, work, we work hard, I tell you. We work hard down there and we're proud of it. We're proud that we're in the front line of COVID. We're down there and we're prepared and do our work and have done it and we negotiate in good faith. But when they come along, they're using COVID to gouge out hard-won conditions that are part of the decent lives of these working men and women. And then they're getting out there with their bullshit, you know, about we're doing this and we're doing that. Mate, they're not doing it. They're the problem. We want to get back to work, get a reasonable agreement and get on with it. That's it, like we've done for the last 20 odd years. Yeah, Chris. but honestly, is, mate. Is, isn't a reasonable agreement in COVID something approaching uh, status quo? Mate, absolutely. That's what we put on the table. Status quo, 2.5% for 12 months. Let's get over to COVID, roll it over, and they told us to get nicked seven months ago. And then two or three weeks ago, we said, look, no industrial action. Let's have a breather for a month, you know, and let's get back and get down, get the status quo, and they told us to get nicked. Now they're out there saying we're holding this ship up, 40 ships. I've never seen 40 ships off, off Sydney in my life, mate. And right. all of the cargo is going through. Honestly, Chris, they are beating it up, mate. They, they make uh, Tyson look like a lightweight, mate. <laughs> well, all thanks for joining us, Paddy. Apologies for some of that language. It is early in the evening, Paddy Crumlin, but we'll <laughs> check those numbers. But I, uh, I can, I've seen the verified uh, uh, numbers that, uh, that we are on a go slow and the ships have been held up. No, it's not true. Have a look at it. And they're embarrassing the Prime Minister with their, with their ball. I won't swear, Chris. Thanks, thanks, <laughs> thanks for joining us, Paddy. Thanks, mate. Paddy Crumlin there from the Maritime Union of Australia. There you go. You heard it from his mouth there slowing. There shouldn't be a problem then. Shouldn't be a problem. They're just uh, argy-bargy. Seems like a pretty strong argument and uh, they want to sort it out without slowing down the arri of arrival of important uh, imports and, of course, our exports as well.